Welcome to Statics Tutorials by Civil Thinking and today we are going to solve another problem on equivalent force systems. Now before I move on, I suggest to you to please watch the video lectures on force systems one by one in sequence so that you understand better. The playlist link is in the description or also you can click on the pop-up on your screen. Now coming to the problem, a force P equals 3.2 kN acts on point C. Okay, now this is the diagram and this is point C. This is the force P which is acting at point C. The magnitude of P is 3.2 kN and it is making an angle of 15 degrees with the horizontal. Now what we have to do, find the equivalent force couple system at point A. Now this is point C and this at this end this is point A. We have to find the equivalent force couple system at point A. Okay. So, what is the idea? How do we find the equivalent force system at point A? Basically, wherever we have to find the equivalent force couple system, what we do? We find the moment there and we move all the forces there. Okay? Now, if we had to find the equivalent force couple system at B, we will find the moment at B and we will move, move all the forces to point B. Since in this problem, we have to find the equivalent force couple system at point A, we will find the moment at A and we will move the force which is we only have one force which is P we will move it from point C to point A this is known as equivalent force couple system okay now let us first find the moment at A now as you can see here we have to find the moment at A let us call it as MA Moment is force multiplied by normal distance. Now you see here, we cannot find the normal distance here very easily, right? Because it is not, this force is not perpendicular to this. So we cannot say this 3 plus 2.4 is the, is the distance between P, normal distance between P, force and A, right? Because it is not normal. So what we do, we have to use the Varignano's theorem. If you don't know about Varignano's theorem, I have already made a video lecture on Varignano's theorem. Please watch that. Now what we do, we cannot, since we cannot find the normal distance between P force and A, it is very hard. So we will resolve P into perpendicular to this ABC component. We will resolve P into perpendicular and a parallel component. Okay, so let me do it like this. Let us say this is perpendicular component. Okay, let me assume the axis here. Let us say along it is y axis and perpendicular to all of this ABC is x axis. Okay, x axis. Now it is along the x axis, right? So let me call this as PX. Let us say this is theta. Okay, now PY will be along it. Okay, it is going to be PY. Let me erase this. This is P Y. Okay. Now we have to find this theta because we have to find the moment at A and moment at A will be P X because now we know P X is perpendicular to this. So 3 plus 2.4 will be the normal distance between A and P X. Okay. So now we will be able to find the moment at A. Okay. So let us first find the value of theta. Now the total angle, all of this, it is 90 degrees, right? All of it is 90 degrees, right? So how much is theta? Now you can see here, this angle is 45 degree with the horizontal. So it means here the angle is 45 degree also, right? Now the total angle is 90 degrees. This is 45, this is 15. So we can find theta here, theta is 90 degrees minus 45 degrees minus 15 degrees which is equal to 30 degrees, okay? Now if you have any trouble in understanding, I think it's very easy, you know, if you have any trouble in understanding, you can comment and I will definitely help you. Now we know that theta is 45 degrees, now we can find the value of Px as P cosine of theta right 
Now P is what? 3.2 kN. 3.2 kN multiplied by cosine of theta. Theta is 30 degrees. Now let me use a calculator. 3.2 multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees. It is 2.77. 2.77 kilonewton. Okay, so we found this Px. Now let us find the moment at A. Moment at point A. Moment at A is you see Px multiplied by normal distance. Now Px is going to exert clockwise moment, and I am assuming the clockwise moments are positive and anti clockwise moments are negative. So it is Px multiplied by the distance 3 plus 2.4 right 2.4 okay now this is the moment due to px now moment due to py is what since py is passing through point a py is passing through abc means py there will be a zero moment due to py at point a okay because there is zero distance between py and a the normal distance between py and a is zero so we will not consider the moment due to this now let us put the values here px is 2.77 multiplied by now 3 plus 2.4 is 5.4 so it is 5.4 so let me use a calculator 2.77 multiplied by 5.4 it is 14.958 okay which is approximately equal to 15 kilonewton meter okay now how it is kilonewton meter now you see 2.77 is in kilonewton, right? This is kilonewton. Now 5.4 is 3 plus 3 meter plus 2.4 meter, so it is meter. So overall the unit is kilonewton meter. That's why 15 kilonewton meter. Okay. Now we found the moment at this point. Okay. So let me erase all of this first. Now we have to find the equivalent force system at point A. So we will move this force as it is. Okay when we move we will not change the orientation the direction of the p force when we move it to point a so it is like this this is force p right it is making an angle of what 15 degrees with the horizontal right and the movement here is how much movement is clockwise here like this it is 15 kilonewton meter okay so this is how we solve this problem so what is the correct option now it is 3.2 kilonewton towards right at an angle of 15 degree yes this force is towards right it is at angle of 15 degrees with the horizontal and 15 kilonewton meter clockwise yes this is 15 kilonewton meter clockwise okay so the option a is correct i don't have to read other options okay this is the correct option so this is how we solve the equivalent force couple system problems now if you have any doubts please comment see you in the next class thank you